Hello and welcome to Profoto Vector. Today I'll be showing you how to install the machine learning models for the object selection and select subject tools in Affinity Photo 2.6 or newer. So for starters, come over here to the object selection tool in the toolbox, and that's gonna bring up this little notification from the Affinity Assistant saying the object selection tool requires the segmentation model to be installed, and you can install it via settings. So we'll click on the settings button, and you can also access this by going to edit, settings, and click on machine learning. And at the very top here, it explains that Affinity Photo locally downloads a pre-trained model to your computer and that all operations are performed on device. So no data leaves your device at any time. And according to Affinity Photo, this improves security as well as privacy. So it's not going off to a third party server, running some kind of AI or something, and then coming back. Everything is locally on your computer. So for the object selection tool, we need to install the segmentation model. And you'll see this is 290 megabytes. Just click install and usually within under 10 seconds, depending on your computer and your internet connection, this will install. And then the saliency model is for the select subject feature. That's for one click selection of the most prominent subject in your composition. This one is 72 megabytes. And once again, I'll just click install. So both those models are now installed locally to our computer. I'll click close to close it out. So now that we have those models installed, let's show them in action. First off, the object selection tool. Once again, I'm just going to click on the icon in the toolbox. And your mouse pointer will think for a second if you're clicking on it for the first time. And once it's ready, you can hover your mouse over any of the objects in your image, and you're going to get this blue diagonal line. And you can sort of just drag your mouse around an object to refine what exactly is being selected. So you'll see as I move my mouse, different parts are being selected. But once you like the selection, just click to select it. And now you're gonna get an outline here around your object. So there are some additional features here that I'm not gonna cover for this tutorial. However, you can come over here and click refine if you wanna refine the selection area around your object. And then once you've done that, change output to whatever you want. In this case, let's just create a mask and mask out the background. And I'll click apply and let's click on the hand tool. So now we have the object selected and we have the background removed. So let's just come over to another photo and show the select subject feature in action. So to use this, just go to select, select subject. And so long as you have the model installed, the saliency model, with one click, it'll select the most prominent object or subject in your image and place a selection around it. You can then refine this using your tool of choice. So for example, you can use the selection brush you can convert this to a mask and paint on the mask. If you want to uninstall the models from your computer, all you have to do is go to Edit, Settings, come over here to Machine Learning, and then you can just click Uninstall next to the model you want to uninstall. I'll just do it for both. And click Close, and you're good to go. All right, that's it for this tutorial. Hopefully you liked it. If you did, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and click the bell icon to be notified each time I have a brand new tutorial. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.